thank, 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 thank you for bringing it up. Senator Bennett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. Mr. Werfel, thank you for your willingness to serve and your family's willingness to let you serve. Very much appreciate it. Two weeks ago, the IRS notified taxpayers in Colorado in the middle of filing season that they could face a tax on their tax refund, which in my state we call Tabor refunds, Taxpayer Bill of Rights refunds. Coloradans receive Tabor refunds when the state collects more in taxes than we allow in state law. It's a tax refund, not income. And in 30 years, the IRS has never taxed these refunds for the vast majority of Coloradans, and, Colorado, and Congress hasn't passed any laws to change that. So the IRS's announcement threw our entire filing, filing season into chaos, and it would have hit my state with about $400 million in additional taxes at a time when working families are already struggling with rising prices in this economy. And that's why I called the Treasury Department and the IRS and demanded that they fix this. And over the weekend, the IRS clarified that it won't use, it won't tax last year's Tabor refunds. But I should never have had to make that case. And people in Colorado should not have had to make that case, especially when they're in the middle of filing their taxes. Mr. Werfel, I know you weren't involved in this. Otherwise, I would have called you. Uh, but I want to put the issue on your list, because I am intensely interested in making sure we don't repeat this again next year. So my question for you is, first, will you commit to working with my office and the state of Colorado ahead of the next filing season? So we aren't inflicting needless chaos and confusion on my state. Yes, I will, Senator. Absolutely. Uh, um, I, I think it goes back to the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, clarity on what is expected. Uh, I think, you know, clearly it's better to have that clarity in advance of the filing season with reasonable notice. Even if you thought it was a good idea, which for the record, I don't think it's a good idea, and 30 years of of experience with the IRS tells us it's not a good idea. But even if you did, the last time you should do it is when people are already filing. In fact, the guidance that we got incredibly from the IRS was don't file your tax returns until we, figure, until we sort this out. And again, I, I share uh, Ben Cardin's view that there are many hardworking public servants there. But that's an example of the kind of self-inflicted wound that I think is just, well, it doesn't, you know, it makes people believe there's just a fundamental nonsense of government. So I look forward to working with, with the, that. Mr. Werfel, I, I, as you know, I've been in the Senate now for uh, more than a decade, and the most significant issue that I've worked on is the expansion of the child tax credit in 2021, along with my colleagues on this committee, Chair Wyden and, and Senator Brown. That one policy cut childhood poverty in half in America, it cut family hunger by a quarter in this country, a country that has the highest childhood poverty rate in the industrialized world, notwithstanding the fact that we are the wealthiest country. It benefited the child tax rate. It benefited over 90 percent of the kids in my state and all across the United States. At the time, many people doubted that the IRS could deliver the CTC on a monthly basis. But to its credit, it did. It wasn't perfect but about 90% of eligible children received the payments. My biggest disappointment is obviously that we let, Congress let the expanded CTC expire. And I still believe that we will eventually pass the expanded CTC. I'm glad there are members of the Republican uh, caucus that are, uh, have their own proposals. If you become commissioner, you will play a vital role in making this a success. What lessons did you learn from the rollout of the expanded CTC and the American Rescue Plan that we could carry forward? And what steps would you take to make sure that we deliver the CTC to every Ill eligible family? Senator, I, I understand uh, how hard you've worked on this issue, and it's such an important one. And as I mentioned in my, uh, my opening statement, uh, I wasn't at the IRS, but I admired from uh, from my status as a as a civilian and a citizen the way in which uh, during a pandemic the IRS was able to implement the uh, both the, the the tax the child tax credit and uh, several rounds of of economic impact payments. Um, I think the lesson I take from that is it, it can be done, um, and I'm hopeful 
that, uh, that if, if there is a, a law that comes out that requires that solution to be redeployed, the fact that it's been done once will enable it to be done again. But again, I would love to get to the IRS if, I, if I'm fortunate enough to be confirmed and see, um, what uh, learn more about what that took, what that process took and how repeatable it is. Um, and then position the IRS even more effectively through the right investments in technology, process improvement, and as a necessary human capacity so that when these things come up, we can, we can hit them out of the park. Thank you, Mr. Werfel. I'm out of time, Mr. Chairman. I realize that had I a moment to ask another question, it would be about e how to get more families signed up on EITC. So I'll send that for the record. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.